What's up, what's up, Rayquaza2094 here, um, I'm actually not gonna have a little, you know, video talk session at the end of this video, be, or any videos for a little bit, because I have to catch up on a few things. Um, so yeah, anyways, it's a battle with Jared to become champion of his group, which I did, um, so yes, obviously, you know, I win this battle, but you know, you'll get to see how it goes, anyways, yeah, he leads off with Scrafty. I lead off with Aerodactyl lead, because you know how I do. I do the Aerodactyl lead. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just taunt the Scrafty, because I know these things usually go for D-Dance on the first turn. Usually, anyways. Um, bleh, actually, actually, we had to redo the battle, because it got disconnected. Thanks to 5th Gen's GTS, well, 5th Gen's Wi-Fi got disconnected, so he already knew I was going to go for that taunt. Um, the first battle I actually did taunt correctly and got the Dragon Dance ahead of him. Uh, so he's gonna go for the Zen Headbutt on the taunt. I'm just gonna set up the Stealth Rock, so he's going for the Zen Headbutt again. Um, which was a pain. I'm just gonna Earthquake to do some damage. Uh, just cause. And I'm like, oh, that didn't do much. Um, yeah. Anyways, there's a person who makes these Pokemon for him. Uh, blah, I forgot the name, what he said, but whoever made the Pokemon for him. I hate you and you make him unlegitly because this is a all of his Pokemon break 252 EV limits on all of them um, because of that guy who sat hacks them um, yeah you're going to get a video directed at you by the way just so you know anyways I'm going to my I wanna be the guy uh, and go for the aura sphere and it doesn't take him out because once again it's like hacked so you know how it is um but i do take him da take it all down it was a pain in the ass but i take it all down anyways yeah it doesn't do as much damage as i would have thought which was interesting actually uh then he's going to go in his hydreigon and i'm like okay you knew i was going with the aura sphere why go into your hydreigon um whatever okay go for your hydreigon uh, I'm just gonna go for the Aura Sphere, and you see, I want to be the guy. I think this is his first takedown. If not, the next turn is for sure. Um, no, that wasn't his first takedown yet. Uh, but this next turn is the first takedown for I want to be the guy. I don't think in his career, but at least for this battle, it is. Uh, and basically, I take down a Hydreigon. It's gonna put in. Electivire for whatever reason I don't know he just puts in Electivire and I'm like okay go for Electivire then I guess uh, I'm just gonna go with that Aura Sphere cause I can maybe fool him into thinking I'm either Specs or Scarfed uh probably not and he goes for the Dynamic Punch and misses thankfully uh, and apparently Dynamic Punch is banned so that was interesting I'll have to like pass that along to everyone because some people don't know that it's banned. I go for the R sphere and miss, and oh, uh, I don't miss. I hit it, and he goes for the hammer arm because he didn't want to miss with the dynamic punch again, I guess. So I want to be the guy. Is not the guy today. How sad. Uh, it's so sad. So very sad. So I'm just gonna send in movie Victini and do some pretty pretty good damage. Uh, I'm just gonna go with the break break, knowing I can easily take him out from that. Um, yeah. And e easy KO. And then he goes into Scrafty, and I'm like, what? You knew I had Brick Break, and not to mention I have V-Crit if this thing wasn't Scarfed. So why are you going into Scrafty? Anyways, I'm going to Brick Break, and it's like, bam, two Pokemon down. And he's like, aw, I'm so sad. And you should be sad. This is what you get for you trying to think that you can beat me. As and I'm your, I'm the champion of your group now, Jared. Woohoo! Anyways, he sent in his Bravery, and I'm assuming it's gonna be like Fizzy Stardust and Brave Bird, everything. And I want to save Movie Victini for a little bit later. And guessing on the Brick um, Brave Bird, I'm just gonna switch into Iron to go ahead and take that Brave Bird nicely. Um, but he goes for the Sky Drop, which was interesting. I don't know why he went with the Sky Drop, um, but yeah. So I'm stuck in this guy, yippee. Uh, I get freed from the sky drop, yay. And then I get hit, which is sad. 
uh, which actually pops my air balloon, so now I'm back on the ground, which is terrible. I like the air balloon making me floaty in the air and eliminating Metagross's ground weakness. So I go with that rock slide. He's going to go with the U-turn to save Braveri a little bit longer, maybe as fodder later. And yeah, he's going to go into his Rose Raid, which I was like, okay. Why Rose Raid? And yeah, I don't know why he chose Rose Raid. Anyways, I was going for the rock slide just because I knew it easily KO him. Um, and it actually does pretty good damage to Rose Raid. So Rose Raid's gonna go with the Magical Leaf. Uh, why, I don't know. I'm not sure on that, but you know what? It's whatever. I'm just gonna go for the Zen Headbutt. Knowing that even if he switches back into something else, I can most likely hit it. Uh, again, I don't remember what Pokemon he all brought. I didn't pay attention at the beginning of the video. Yippee! Anyways, he's gonna put in Escadrill, and I'm like, Ugh. I hate Escadrill, but at least there's no Sandstorm, so at least I have that advantage. Uh, he's just going to go with that Earthquake, which kind of is a bummer that, that I don't have the Air Balloon anymore, because uh, I definitely would have survived that. Um, yeah, speaking of Escadrill, I'll add in this little tidbit. Do you think Sand Rush and Sandstream should be banned, or do you think Escadrill should be banned? I'll let you take the guess on that. Anyways, I'm Scarfed, knowing I can easily outspeed him. Um... But he's going to switch into his Braveri as fodder. Fodder out because he predicts this V Create, which I was debating on V Create and Brick Break, but I knew V Create would easily take care of the Escadrill. Um, and yeah. Basically, that the useless crit. Why, did, why do I get a useless crit? I'm not sure, but I do. Um, I get a useless crit, anyways. Uh, and then I decide to make a choice to stay in on this next turn against the Escadrill. Um, just in case the Scarf made me a little bit faster, I didn't do prediction. I didn't do calculation enough to see if it would. It obviously didn't because he goes for the Earthquake and one-shots my Victini, which is very, very sad, actually. Oh, poor Victini. Oh, well. He'll get to go ahead and do some more damage in some other videos. Um, yeah. So I'm just going to switch into my Crawdont. Uh, blah, I don't remember what I do next. He goes for the Shadow Claw for whatever reason. I don't know why. Um, blah. It did a, lo it did a lot of damage. Uh, of course it was a crit, so maybe it wouldn't have. Oh yeah, I go for the Dragon Dance and I believe I Waterfall. Um, for the win, so. We'll g so that's, that's going to be all, basically. That's the battle. Uh, comment, like, subscribe, fave if you like this video. Um, yeah, you should definitely do that. Uh, just watch, watch Crawdon be awesome sauce with one Dragon Ants because it is the abil it's a, the adaptability Crawdon, which means that waterfall's coming at him with the 106 power. Anyways, goodbye.